Hey everyone, I'm alive. We are alive. I took a week off from social media, just about everything. I wasn't posting on Instagram, I wasn't posting on YouTube, and I wanted to kind of fill you guys in as to why. Some of you may know that the main reason is that my son Lincoln, my five-year-old, had a very scary virus this week. Scary. We will get to that. But I just wanted to pop in and tell you guys that even if I'm not here and I'm not uploading, I'm always thinking about you and I'm always cheering you on and rooting for you and sending so much love your way. I have a tendency as a person to say yes to more than I can handle and to commit myself to more than I am physically capable of doing. That is one of my biggest flaws. I don't know how to say no and I don't know how to kind of make my life do what I need it to do to be able to keep my mental peace and also be really great to my family. And when my kiddos are sick, as all parents I'm sure do, my anxiety is so triggered I can hardly stand it. I can't eat, I can't sleep, I can't do anything but take care of them. And I really, really needed to do that last week. So I'm going to give you guys kind of a play-by-play -play on what's taken place in the last seven days. There was a lot of good and there was a lot of scary times, but I basically just wanted to pop in and tell you I'm here and I love you and we're getting back to our regularly uploaded content. I'll never say regularly scheduled because your girl can't stick to a schedule to save her life. So the last video that I uploaded was egg salad. That was at the very beginning of last week and then I went quiet. So let's see, Tuesday, Lincoln started to have some swelling behind his ear. It got progressively worse. Tuesday night, he felt okay. He had battled a little cold a few days before, but he wasn't really showing any kinds of symptoms on Tuesday. So because I know that lymph nodes can get swollen from a virus, I was like, okay, Amanda, don't panic. Let's just keep him home on and let him rest and see what we're in for. So Wednesday passes. I gave it a full 24 hours. Still no symptoms, but the swelling's getting worse. Thursday, I took him to the emergency room. I dropped Levi off at school and brought Lincoln to the ER because the swelling was worse and I was starting to get truly afraid, like afraid. I'm gonna cry talking about it. It's like even when you know that it's explainable when there's something going on with your kid that's scary and it's more than just a cold, like I, I panic, you guys. Like I kept it calm for him, but I was a basket case in my brain. So took him to the ER, we were there all day. They ended up doing an ultrasound of the location and for anyone in the medical profession, it wasn't one lymph node that was swollen, it was actually the entire chain of lymph nodes, which is super indicative to a virus. Had it been just one swollen nymph lymph node, they would have wanted to do a biopsy. So even just hearing the words biopsy and cancer and all of these things, I was unglued, unglued. The way that they handled it, I appreciate. They didn't jump to conclusions. They said, okay, let's... He also had a rash. So he had a viral rash on his torso that started creeping up at the emergency room. Like, thank goodness, look, there's a symptom. All of the symptoms started to come once we left the ER. He ended up coming down with like an insane virus, spiking fevers up and down, runny nose, lethargic. He was a mess from Thursday evening. Didn't start feeling better until Sunday. So all week I played nurse. I took care of my baby. I've truly, he's never been that sick. Lincoln's my kid where even if he has some kind of horrible sickness, he just kind of powers through it. He's very much like me in that way where you would honestly never even know he was sick, but this time was different. He laid on the couch for two days straight, didn't move a muscle. It was horribly sad. I was terrified beyond belief. He's on antibiotic and the swelling in the neck has finally started to go down. If for some reason, once he finish it, finishes the antibiotic, it comes back, we're gonna be in for a whole world of more scary things. But I feel really confident that it was just some kind of weird virus, some kind of infection going on. 
he feels much better. So that's the main reason why you didn't see me last week because I was not fit to talk to you guys. I don't ever wanna come on here and just bring you down and make you cry and make you feel sad. And that's all I was doing last week for literally everybody. I was broken, so afraid. So that was the bulk of where I've been. Good things. On Saturday morning, I got a new stove, a new oven. My stove has been on borrowed time basically for five years. And I'm one of those people that I don't like to buy an appliance until it's completely broken. Um, can we not? Can we, can we not do that? Can we just not? So I got a new oven, it's an LG, it's all digital, it's all flat glass top, and I have to tell you, I, I like it, it's beautiful, but it's gonna take some time to grow on me. I'm very much a creature of habit and not having like my regular heat knobs and not having the raised elements, it's taken a little bit of getting used to for me to love it. I'm sure I will get there. It also, it makes all kinds of like really cute noises. It's all chimes instead of beeps. So that's super cute and the kids are impressed, but I can't even begin to tell you how amazing it feels to have a brand new appliance. I've never had a brand new appliance. I am the hand-me-down, side of the road and fix it queen. That's who I am. So getting a new stove was amazing. That happened on Saturday. And then Saturday in the afternoon, Dan stayed with Lincoln and Levi and I went and worked a really cool event in Daytona Beach. It was a daddy-daughter ball. So it was like an under the seat. Theme. They really go all out. It was incredible. We did portrait photography all day of the dads with their daughters all dressed up. It was an awesome networking opportunity for us. We volunteered our time because it's um, the charity is the Justice League and we just really believe in what they're doing. So we did that. <laughs> and it was magical. Then I was off on Sunday. We finally started painting the inside of the house. This is gonna be, this is gonna be a really long and never ending project. My dogs are lit, sorry. You can see some of it. It's really hard for me guys to, sh it's really hard for me guys, seriously? It's my first time vlogging. It's hard for me to show you guys the color because without seeing it in the light, it just looks like a big black wall, but it's an incredible, incredible, super dark teal for an accent wall and I am obsessed with it. It's exactly what I wanted. Once I get more of it done and I'm able to show you guys kind of a grand reveal, I will do that. But I basically wanted it to look like an antique library. <laughs> we have been eating keto. Even in stress and strife, I've managed to still stick to the game plan. We've definitely done some fat kid keto meals. Uh, we did chili burgers on smart buns. That was incredible. Chili was the first thing that I made on the new stove. Go figure. No surprise to most of you, I'm sure. But uh, we did taco salads one night. I'm trying to think if we did anything else exciting. Lots of um, steak. <laughs> steak is my go-to comfort food. It's, it's like keto problems. If I am feeling a little overwhelmed and I want like a treat yourself meal that isn't crazy hard to make, I always go for steak. So yeah, you guys, I missed you. And I've gotten so many awesome messages and you guys emails reaching out to make sure that I'm okay and to make sure that my family is okay. And I just, I appreciate that more than I could ever convey to you. I know that you guys love us and I know that you're here for us. And I know that when things are not going great for us that you're praying for us and sending us good vibes and good thoughts and all of that is so, I, I just cherish it. I cherish you guys. One of the hardest things about vlogging for me is that I can't force myself to be in the mood when I'm stressed. 
And I don't know if that sucks for you guys or if you understand or if you're like, hey, Amanda, just shut up and cook something. And, you know, <laughs> I don't really know how you feel about it, but I just wanted to kind of let you guys know that if you're not yourself for whatever reason, I get it. I get that. It's very hard to come on here and your life you feel like is a dumpster fire and you're just having a rough time, but to come on here and be like, I'm Amanda and I cook. Like sometimes that's really difficult. And for me this week it was. The scale is moving in the downward direction, which I truly appreciate. The majority of that being because I'm not eating very much. My appetite has been kind of terrible. I've really only been hungry for dinner and I'm living on coffee and water, but I need to get my life together and start putting more meals and more snacks back into my diet because I'll be honest, like I'm eating keto, I'm eating low carb, I'm doing intermittent fasting, but I don't feel my best right now. Uh, my my allergies are bothering me. I feel really tired. I'm just kind of drained. I really am. It's kind of the perfect cocktail for a nervous breakdown. So let's everybody kind of keep our fingers crossed that Amanda can keep it together. <laughs> So that's it. That's where I've been. I have been wearing my nurse hat and trying to do things to our newly purchased home. I don't know if I've talked about that yet. We bought the house that we've been living in and renting for over five years. It is our dream house because our kids have been raised here. Uh, took their first steps here, said their first words. We have little notches on the wall for their height. Like this is our home. And we probably could have house shopped and found something that was more updated and more, I don't know, elegant, more modern, but the thought of moving out of this house made us both so incredibly sad. So we bought it and it's been really exciting because we're just slowly but surely getting new things for the house and taking on all of these projects that we've wanted to do for so long, but haven't because we were renting it. So that's what has been going on with us. Our wedding anniversary was yesterday. Dan and I have been married for three years. No, we didn't do anything. We literally ate steak and shrimp and I fell asleep on the couch at like 9.30. We've been together for seven years. Even though we've only been married for three, we've been together for seven. And you know, some holidays and celebrations, we go crazy and we make all these plans and we have parties or we do trips. And you know, sometimes we just don't. Sometimes we just look at our life and feel really pleased and, you know, look at what we built. So we had a quiet night at home, but it was our wedding anniversary. I can't believe it's been three years. Three years goes by so fast. Uh, if you head over to my Instagram, I shared some wedding pictures. And if you swipe, you can see the progress of us kind of losing weight because we were both very heavy at the wedding. I probably weighed around 260, 270. I would say that Dan was probably closer to 300. And now we are not. So that's kind of cool to see. I still love my wedding pictures, even though I was really heavy in them. I get asked all the time, do you still love your photos? Yes. Yes, I do. Because, you know, I, I still loved myself when I was heavy. I had a lot of really crappy internal dialogue, but I still was happy to be alive and to be marrying the love of my life. So yes, I do still treasure my wedding photos. We definitely want to do like a repeat though. I want to put on the veil and put on the dress and tie it in the back and hopefully we can get some kind of like do over pictures happening because that would be cool too. I guess I've rambled enough. This is not a food video. Surprise. <laughs> 10 minutes later. No, this isn't a food video. I just wanted to let you guys know that I was okay. The kids are okay. Lincoln is on the mend. Thank God none of us have, doesn't seem like any of us are going to get whatever weirdo virus infection he was battling. So I'm very thankful for that. I am doing a cleaning day because I just feel like my house needs to be sprayed down with Clorox. And I'm going to do like a, a meal plan. 
look forward to keto recipes creeping up over the next few days. I've been working on some test kitchen stuff and some things that I wanna share with you guys. I'm also aggressively working on the second cookbook. It'll be Fat Kid Keto Part Two, and there will be a lot of really awesome recipes in that as well. I'm hoping to be able to release it in the next like two to three months. If you have not purchased Fat Kid Keto, I hope that you will. It's a really awesome ebook on Etsy that you can print out and have all of my recipes that are like our favorites right at your fingertips. Also, please don't forget to head over to Facebook, like the Keto Ginger Facebook page, and join the Keto Ginger Kitchen Facebook group. One of the most supportive groups of people that you will ever meet in your life. You will absolutely love it in there, and I just can't say enough good things about the humans that I'm lucky enough to be able to share my life with over there. So I love you guys. I hope that your week is off to an absolutely amazing start. I will see you as soon as humanly possible with some food stuff. How's your keto going? Is it going awesome? Are you smashing it? Are you struggling? If you're struggling, holler. I'm sending you a hug. I love you all. I'll see you really soon.